And she's trying to go to Dooneyland. As mother, she's trying to go to Dooneyland. <laughs> One way trip. One way trip. You don't come back, you stay over there. You can't get up. You can't get up. You can't get up. Uh, shut <laughs> up! Oh my god, you're out of control. Ooh. Okay, you wanna do this one? I see you're running Trinity Tensity from the morning this run. <laughs> you wanna read it or do you wanna read it? I can read it. Alright, go ahead. Alright. I right, picked a question. Yes. Has she ever had any true intentions in becoming more than just friends? But let's say I were to be like, yo, what's up? What you saying? You saying that's it? I would say find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, welcome to the dojo, baby man. Have no fear, Taekwondo is here, and we got ah oh, okay, Melly baby. <laughs> we got Melly Monaco. We pulled up to LA. We in the apartment, and uh, the view is real. I don't even know if I want to look at the video. This you got too much money. You got you, <laughs> Shut up. I don't got too like much money. Trying no. to be like you. I mean, you know, when you work from home, you gotta. You gotta be comfortable. No, this this like, no bullshit. This is the type of view that like motivate me. Exactly, that like, makes you happy up. when you wake up. Exactly. I I just wake up and feel motivated looking out at this. This mm -hmm. is fine. But we got a Q and A. As this was a well-awaited link up. As y'all know, I don't really travel too much. I don't really do too many collabs. I don't I don't like people. But you don't like people. You I don't do. like people. It, you know, it's so crazy because I don't really like people either. But I do YouTube. Mm -hmm. It's like. Yeah, Don't I'm very anti-social when it comes mm -hmm. to it, but yeah, we can start from the beginning because somebody said, how did you two meet? Well, technically, she sent me her address and I drove here, but I know what you meant when you said that. Like, how did we actually talk? We, we met because I saw her doing a stream, right? And um, I remember I had seen one of her videos. I was like, women dating coach. Mm -hmm. And I was peculiar. I was, you know, intrigued by it. I was like, okay, she's real pretty, got the nice, you know, colored eyes. And I was like, what advice does she have? Like, I'm, I was curious, you know what I'm saying? I always inspect things, right? So, I click on it. I watch it. That's how I knew who you were. Mm -hmm. But from watching that one video, and I did a reaction to it on YouTube, it put her on my Explorer page and she would go live. And I remember oh, you were shit. debating, it was the it was the marriage thing. Mm -hmm. And everybody, you was bullying everybody. Oh, so you don't know what you're talking about? Like, you what was bullying ever? the shit out of everybody. I'm not bullying people. You don't you don't intimidate people, you don't bully people, you don't No, I talk regular. I might be direct and people don't like people who are direct. That's yeah, what they it probably is. Are so for me personally, when I see a challenge or when I see something that like like is like a fight, I'm an argumentative person. I like to challenge myself. So when I saw you on there debating people or arguing with people, right? Mm -hmm. I said, I wanna talk to her. Literally. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I want to talk to her. I want to just throw myself in there because I didn't even record it. I wasn't live. I wasn't planning to do it. Oh, really? It. Okay. No, it was just, it wasn't like I'm about to get some content. Mm -hmm. It turned into that. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I saw it and was like, all right, I want to talk to her. And then that's when the whole clip came. So you wouldn't call me, uh, off. I added this in there. So you're not a simp for complimenting a girl. You're not a simp for complimenting a girl. Answer my question. You would never tell me I'm pretty. If you went out your way to get oh, dressed. I need to go out of my way. So you want to call me pretty? <laughs> yeah. I was like, you're like, you got to do something. I'm like, what? Why I got to do something <laughs> to be called pretty? She is a very nice dog down here. Yep. Um, yeah. And that, that was the start of everything. That was even before you had the pineapple show. Mm-hmm. Because I was just starting to go live and I didn't even know what I was really doing. I was just trying a live and see if people come up and stuff. You was just blowing up too at the time, right? I don't know. I think the blow is like, I don't know. It's continuous, really. Yes. But I think back then we were, I mean, both were like established. Mm -hmm. I think I had less than 100,000. I did too. So, I definitely had. If you had less than 100, I definitely did. Yeah. Um, you also, the thing I seen though, you had music though. Yeah. Rapping, singing. <laughs> Melly got a lot of life. Like, she got a lot of side quests, a lot of random things. It's I'm this, trying. This stack on a book collection. So it's, it's, it's things about you we don't know, you know. Obviously, I mean, you know, you can't put everything online. You can't. I respect it. Cause I'm the same way. Mm -hmm. But the rap career. So what happened with that? You you was you create you <laughs> felt creative one day. You was going on with that. Where did that come no, from? No, I always loved music, and I was like, I'm gonna try. It. That's when actually I had another channel mm -hmm. with five hundred thousand subs. I know. Oh, so you was never small. Like I, I'm, I'm starting from scratch. You know. No, that, but like, me. 
me oh, a scratch. Oh, I'm zero this to new zero. one, yeah, that's yeah. not the first one. Okay. But I had to start back from scratch because it got deleted. The first one got deleted. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, you two playing with my money. So, like, you know what? I was seeing everybody online, like, mm-hmm. you make one song and then you blow it. I was like, oh, that's going to be me. <laughs> so, I went. going to be one hit wonder? Yes. And everybody was trying to be like, oh, she a one hit wonder, da da da. But it's like, now what? Two hit wonder? Like, the fuck? <laughs> I was like, I'm cool with that. And then I tried to make some music and um, that's how it started. And then I, I just enjoyed it. So, mm-hmm. yeah, but right now I'm not really doing much with it. It's just no music in a while. too much work. You playing the instruments? Nope. Okay, I, I play know, guitar. I see. I, I play see, guitar. Yeah. So we might have a collab album. <laughs> Why are you laughing? So you're going to play the guitar and I'm going to rap? Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> sure. Okay. If you start rapping again, because I'm playing the guitar, so I'm, I'm really going to be on that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're going to be doing, mm-hmm. but I'm going to be on what I'm on. Okay. Hey, we'll talk once you're I'm not really playing. Efficient. I'm not playing. I'm just like, oh, you're <laughs> Are you efficient yet? You Can just you started. Can you rap? I'm not going to rap on here. I'm not even okay, no, I'm me. messing with you. I'm messing with you. But listen, this is my point. If you want to say I'm not efficient on the guitar, mm-hmm. I'm going to play it for like a year. Okay. I'm playing for like a year. Cool. I'm good enough to get on the song. Okay. Alright, well, we'll see. you good enough to rap. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm good enough. I'm good I mean, enough I got video. songs. You can go online and check out my music videos. There's like 10 of them. Right, I'm going to bump that melody on the way home. Alright. I'm going to play that melody. <laughs> that melody not go. Play War. War? Yeah. Why well, such a dangerous oh, it's just name for a song? Me talking about uh, like how a dude did me wrong and how American people are a little funny at times. That's how you yeah. was feeling? Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. I mean, it's more like relationship. So, what would the next song be titled? Mm-hmm. Peace, love. Uh, what's no. what's Molly's current state? What's her What's her mind? Well, like? the the last one is uh, streets. I gave a dude back to the streets. War streets. streets. I know. Anything Anything high spirited? Anything? No. We're gonna have to make a dark song. It's gonna be an evil album. It's gonna be a toxic album. It's gonna be a. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be one of those vibes. I gotta get away from you then. I ain't knowing that. I'm I'm on my spiritual journey. <laughs> I mean, I'm spiritual too. <laughs> Whatever. This this is this is the toxic one, chat. It's, it's not it's not me. I'm a good person. You know what I'm saying? Um, oh, so I'm not a good person. That's what you're saying. Okay, let's talk about the names of these songs. War okay. and streets. Yeah, but it's because you're talking about something and it's your you know, life. There's it's a real. story. It's yeah. Real. Mm-hmm. Okay. So one was. Fuck America and bad people. The second one was I put a dude back on the streets. Mm-hmm. Okay. The third one, you know what it, you know what it be? What is it? I met my crush. Who is and you that? You title that? You title that? Who is um, that? Ecstasy. Ecstasy. Yeah, for me and Taekwondo. <laughs> you title it ecstasy. I like that. It'll be an improvement of the energy of your music. I'm just saying. Okay. Maybe you maybe you would do better on a higher energy or a happier vibe. You think so? No. You like the, the song, toxic the song shit? is pretty happy. The Back to the Streets, it's a happy song. It's like, okay, I, I finally got rid of this nigga that wasn't good for me. Oh, so it's like a, it's pretty, like a beating... Yeah, it's like, okay, go back. Like, we're good and I'm yeah. happy, you know? Okay. So, so it's not a sad song. He went to song. the streets. Where did you go? Where did I go? I'm <laughs> home. I'm home. You're here. We're home. Exactly. Yo, you, that's what he said. You know, it's two sides to the story, so you know. For sure. What would you say? Oh, actually, this literally was a question. I'm gonna put that on here, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna try to match it up with the guys' names. Um, and I would think that we had to do it like this because I don't know if you would know the answer to this question. Mm, it's here. It was what are ties? Ties red flags. I guess we can exchange green. Let's do green and red, two of each. You want to do it like that? A green flag for you? Yeah. Like that I think you have? Yeah, green and red. Um, From what you know so far. Okay, let's do red. You want to start with red? <laughs> Why not? Why you're wearing such a, green. A, why are you such a negative person? Whatever. War streets, let's you're start wearing, with red. You're wearing green already. All right, hit me with your best shot. Uh, red. Um, I think you are know-it-all. A know-it-all? Mm-hmm. I think you think you know it all. Until I've proven that I don't. <laughs> <laughs> See? Exactly. I'm right. It, listen, it, it don't even come from 
a narcissistic standpoint, it, I think it comes from Knowing. having to pick up my boots and do and take care of them. It's like shit, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, I got you know, I got solid parents, but I mean, like, if I wanted my life to end up how it is now, I had to, I had to know it all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I had to figure things out, and that develops a confidence in you, mm-hmm. right? And going on your own, doing your own thing. Yeah. I try to be. Sen- Why you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> she laughing. She think it's toxic, but I do try to listen. Try. A lot, but I'm a hard person to convince. That's the thing. I won't just agree with something just because somebody's telling me something. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna test it. You know, I'm gonna debate it. If it can stand a debate, if it can stand a disagreement, then I'll I'll definitely reflect yeah. on it. Mm-hmm. But you know, green. Now, actually, let's both do red and then switch to green. Okay. Okay. My red. Mm. <laughs> oh, what I'm wearing? I got no, no. I gotta think about it. Okay. That's what, that's what that was. Um. Honestly, I feel like I feel like you don't take nothing serious. Like, or or let me put it like this: I feel like you would play about like how you really feel. Mm. So when I say you don't take nothing serious, I mean like you just want to express yourself directly. You would like play along with a game, and like you know, this is hard to describe. But it's very specific. You know why I think that? Because you laugh a lot. You got like a not laughing don't make you like this, but I just I just know I got a toxic radar. No. As a post toxic person, I got a toxic radar. I can just always see it when somebody's like, I'm gonna play my game. I'm gonna watch out for this person. Mm-hmm. And you know, and that's the opposite of vulnerability. That's my point. Why it's a red flag. Okay. It's a very scary way to live. Mm-hmm. I don't believe that it's true though. All right. Like I tell people. And which sometimes turns the other way, mm-hmm. like turns bad, because I'm so upfront and I tell them like, yo, I like you, what's up? They're like, oh, slow down. And I'm like, slow down for what? Like, <laughs> okay, what's the timeline for that? What do you think though? I mean, if I, I can like you when we talk for like an hour. I'm not saying, hey, let's be in a relationship. Yeah. But I'm like, I like you, I fuck with you. And to some I people, it's like too that. much. Yeah, yeah, I think and that I'm communicates like, that. All right, guys, so I'll be here for an hour and five minutes. Shut <laughs> up! <laughs> But to me, no, it's not. To me, I find that refreshing, mm-hmm. and I think some people like the reassurance. Find, yes, it's like I like you. You're not gonna wonder if I like you. Like should, never. Should they trust me. you? Should like should they believe that? Like I, I will find it hard to believe if I've been with you for an hour. You were like I like you, because to say you like somebody, it's not I love you. It's not I mm-hmm. want you. Yeah. So I guess it is simple because it's I like. But yeah. you know, you say that you giving somebody an inch and they feel like a mile. I ain't gonna lie. Woman, I'll leave a woman. She's like, I like you. I'll be like, damn. It's just like. I'm not you saying. You can be specific. Like, be I enjoyed our conversation. I can. But right, like is good enough. <laughs> no, like is good. Mean, I mean, shit. That don't mean can, nothing. Like, I'm like not this just, <laughs> Like these. <nothing. laughs> I just feel like I'm not going to change who I am just because okay. I use the word that you're, you so feel like you it's overwhelming. It me. How would you prefer it to go? You say, bam, I like you. And then they go, what? And they're cool with it. I'm not. I'm not saying that for an answer mm-hmm. or for you to like me more or mm-hmm. nothing. I'm just expressing myself. Okay. So that's the only example you may have is like I like you. Mm-hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know how to respond to that. I probably. Yeah. I probably would. Probably wouldn't trip me out. Like it shouldn't. Yeah. But people maybe take it and they feel like, well, it's too much too soon, or she doesn't really like me. How she knows? Well, you like a vibe. You like something. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't know. I'm very like into my feelings. So for you to say I don't express, I'm you mean like, your feelings? yeah, okay. like I say what I want because mm-hmm. I'm not gonna. I don't like to play the games of like, okay, let me play hard to get or whatever. And then when he he start like not talking, mm-hmm. I'm like, oh fuck, I messed up. Maybe I should have showed so more or whatever. Is. Yes. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm like, you're always gonna know what I feel. We got, a, we got a soft, vulnerable melody. This is, this is... What do you mean? But I am. That's who I am. And good. it's funny that you, you see something totally different. Because I because express myself. And I express myself when I'm angry too. So it's it's both ways. You're never going to wonder... I angry. It's bad. I can only imagine. You're never going to wonder your, what she's thinking. Mm-hmm. It's like, you ask me, I tell you. Okay. But then don't be mad if you don't like what I'm thinking. That's I the like problem that. with people. I like that. No, I, I like everything I heard so far. It does sound very vulnerable. It sounds genuine. I just think that um, it takes time for a person to meet you there. 
Mm-hmm. Like, you know, you got to meet somebody else that thinks that way too. Or for sure. understand how the other person responds. Like, hey, I appreciate you for sharing that with me, but I don't know if I like you enough to say something like that yet. Mm-hmm. Even though I mean, feeling, I'm not even asking for an answer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's I just, that's I say it. Yeah. I like I'm that. With you. Oh, the green flags. Yes. So you want me to start this time? You want to start? Uh, you start. I'll start. Yeah. Green flag. I feel like you're a strong lover, like a, like a, what do you need? Did you eat today? Mm-hmm. Um, is there anything I can do to help? You know, what else? You know, I, I just feel like a very supportive lover. Mm-hmm. Like, like you, you love to be a team player. Yeah. Is that true? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. That's I feel true. like that's a green flag, like strong love. Okay. Yeah. Green flag for you, I think uh, you're a teacher. So that you would like to help your girl to like get better and um, show her like the ropes of something, you know. One hundred and ten percent. But the funny part is, is that's the other side of the coin of you saying I know it all. So it's like so since I you gotta know, know it you all. Wanna teach. I gotta teach you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but you don't know it all. You but, can be uh, proficient in one mm-hmm. area, and right. then that's the area you teach. But no, but that's a very specific quality of mine. Even if. That's the that's the crazy part of why I say things like you know, you have the lifetime warranty on the pussy or whatever. Because if you leave a positive impact on a woman, let's say y'all just don't work out mm-hmm. uh, for whatever reason, right? It, it could even be something s- stupid like oh, who knows, right? But if she remembers you or your impact on her as damn, he was like a a, a role model, like a an mm-hmm. admirable person. Like I admired him. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't just like him. I didn't just find him handsome. Yeah. I admired him. That's a different level. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not just, oh, he's handsome. He has a six pack. He has a nice car. But mm-hmm. I admire him. How he think. How he used to think. I would leave our conversations and interactions uh, with the impression that I can hustle in life, mm-hmm. etc. Yeah. So, when as a man, you leave that kind of impact on a woman, like, you beat every other guy that was on her roster sure. or any other guy she could remember because most dudes just want to they just want to be good dick they just want to be you know if a that, fun a short time I, if that I don't even know if they want to be a good dick they don't give a fuck no they just you know some dudes don't care they just think you know I want to just get my nut off or whatever you know mm-hmm. not every guy is about pleasure not every guy is about seduction For you sure. know they say the sensei is seduction so mm-hmm. every guy plays with different things differently mm-hmm. <laughs> you're out of control <laughs> Okay. I know it all. Yeah. Or as you as you said, these are your words, not mine. Mm-hmm. A teacher, mm-hmm. as you said. Yeah. You could teach any subject. Not any. Any subject. Any subject I know. Okay. Yes. Mhm. All right. That's all I'm saying. What is the best way a guy should approach a girl? Now I feel like this is a great question, just because mm-hmm. you got two dating coaches, two brains in one, a man and a woman. Okay. So I would recommend in person. Fuck Instagram, fuck dating apps, all of that. Like it's trash. Mm-hmm. Uh, in person, use the environment so you don't come off as like thirsty. Yo, let me get your number. No, we're not mm-hmm. doing that. More like I don't know. Maybe you're sitting at a bar. She's there by herself. She has a drink, and you can be like, Yo, what's not you? And um, ask. Uh, how the the drink is, is tasting? Like mm-hmm. you're looking for a drink yourself. What do you recommend? Could you help me? You know, we love helping. Supposedly. Yes, supporting. Yes, love and nurturing, mm-hmm. compassion, all types of things. I agree with everything you said because I say that all the time. I don't, that's why I don't do videos on demon women and Tinder and mm-hmm. and you know Hinge and Bumble, all those apps. No disrespect to the dudes that use them, but mm-hmm. my my preference is you never have to run into a catfish if you meet her and you get her in real life. Number one, True. number two, um, it, we also I just feel like as as human beings, all these thousands of years, no technology, no mm-hmm. engagements on social media, yep. we have developed skills to recognize things in the conversation. Or a one-on-one interaction mm-hmm. that I can't sense from my phone. So how some people be like, "Oh, she's out of your league," or you can't get that woman. You might sweep her off her feet one day. Yeah. Something, but she might have not looked at you any kind of sideways on your Instagram. She might have said, mm-hmm. "This guy can't yeah, take no. pictures. He's lame." Yeah. Blah blah blah. But hey, how you doing? And, and, and you stick out to the guy she thought was popping mm-hmm. that that posted his Instagram a certain kind of way. Sure. You stand out because she she watch you. There's another thing I too. 
uh, we talk. I know we're talking about approaching, but let's say you in this uh, public setting, right? Mm-hmm. A woman will notice you, even if you think you ugly, short, or whatever. She'll look at how you laugh with other people. Is he dancing? Yeah. Is he? Is, is, does he look lost and confused, or does he look confident and sure of himself and like happy? Like mm-hmm. people notice these things. You can't see this on social media. Social media. I guess you could show your mood or your vibe on social media, yeah. but that shit could be misleading. But in person, like I said, I, I like how you said, use the environment. Because I've got women in, in drive throughs sneaker stores, malls. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's, the sneaker store is actually the funniest situation I've probably got a girl before. Uber Eats drivers. Wow. So, uh, uh, like, you, you, like, you, so many situations to play off of because I remember the sneaker store one. I was in there looking for something. And, um, it started helping. That's the funny part. I didn't do it on purpose, but mm-hmm. I just was like, you know what I mean? Um, I was like, do you have this size, you know, general customer to employee type of interaction? Mm-hmm. And I was like, where do I get something like those? And then I was putting it at her feet. Mm-hmm. And you know, she smiled. And that just started the That's whole interaction it. though. That started and spun the whole conversation though. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That was the intro to it. And... It just flowed the conversation. It made the interaction more normal. I bet it made her more comfortable because she's like, you know, he just talked to me mm-hmm. directly. He didn't come at me and just hit me with something yeah. crazy. But he, 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 I met him on a smile. I met him on a genuine mm-hmm. interaction. You know, it didn't seem like I was hunting her and all that. I agree. You know, um, I think we'll, we'll pause this if you, you want to get the light. Yeah. Because I noticed it's changing a little bit. You, you can pick one, honestly. Start from this the bottom. Okay. Two, like, trolls started it, but... You know, whatever one you want to pick. Are they crazy? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and she's trying to go to Dooney Land. As mother, she's trying to go to Dooney Land. <laughs> one way trip. One way trip. You don't come back, you stay over there. You can't get up. You can't get up. <laughs> can't get up. Uh, shut <laughs> up! Oh my god, you're out of control. That's why it's demon top. Ooh. Okay, you wanna do this one? I see you're gonna turn the tissue from one of this run. <laughs> you wanna read it or do you wanna read it? I can read it. Oh, go ahead. Alright. I picked a question. Yes. Has she ever had any true intentions in becoming more than just friends? That's it, huh? Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh no. No intentions to become <laughs> more oh. than just friends. She can't even answer the question because we're not even friends. Oh, okay. Well, no, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, like, like, I'm like, like, well, you're in my home, so I don't no, I'm know. Not, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Um, yeah, I think, I think that's, I fuck with the answer because, contrary to what y'all would think, I was never thirsty on Melly. I was never like, you know, we just got good chemistry. So, okay, so let's say, okay, you are, we're on so, the same page, but let's say I were to be like, yo, what's up? What you saying? You're saying no to I would say find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball. <laughs> 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 I, would, I would, I'm, I'm going to be honest. If you just came out of nowhere and was like that. Mm-hmm. I'm such a spontaneous person. Mm-hmm. Like, I just, I can't even tell you. Mm-hmm. I can't eat that. Alright. Just leave it right there. I guess so. <laughs> you you play with the hypothetical on top of saying no to the first question. So the first answer wasn't even really That's none of my business. <laughs> <You're> funny. <laughs> Alright. What stopped y'all from making a channel together? Somebody sent me that too. Um I don't know. I guess we never thought about making a channel together. <clears throat> I have so many channels. It's so much work. I know you know how much work it is to have stuff together. You know, and then I feel... Did you know what they meant, though? Like... A channel together. Like, what that mean? Like, 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 like channel... Like, and Preach or like, 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 couples channel? That's what they mean? I don't know. I... When they say make a channel together, I, I don't know what people mean by that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I took it as just, like, having... A channel together, but not like the the couples channel. But so I don't know. I just didn't get it when I read it. I was like, oh uh, okay. Well, I'm like, yeah. I was like, what do that mean? Okay. I haven't had a channel with 500k subscribers and mm-hmm. been in the YouTube game for this long. So mm-hmm. when they said it, I was like, only thing I think of when two people have a channel it. together is like on some couple of shit. Yeah. If we don't do no coffee, <laughs> we don't do no love. Oh yeah. You know? No, I'm playing. It's a song. 
Okay, but but you're singing it now, so I'm like, so you don't do no coughing, no laughing, like that's that's you, that's your. Hell yeah, I'm a, hell yeah, I'm a lover. Oh, so you do. So yeah. why are you singing that? Cause the song just flow. Why no, you it, it, it don't flow. Cause now, no, cause I didn't know the song, so I'm like, that's what you're preaching. Whole time I made the song up. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I just this this how I'm a musician, you know what I'm saying? This is something I'm doing next. You know, I play the guitar and stuff like that. That'll be my first song. You allowed to make songs about war and streets, and I can't say we don't do no cover, we don't do no love. Well, my my stuff is real. You say you say that artists, you're not separate the artist from the art. I don't know. I think the art works better when the artist and the art are together. That's another thing. I like your thing. <laughs> What's I like this one. Your dog want me to play with him, play with her. For real. She's out of control. But go ahead and answer okay, this one. Next. Go ahead. What sets Ty apart from other guys, in your opinion? I would say. Why is this taking so long? This should have been a, a long list. list. This should have been a long list of answers. No, because I'm thinking just one. I'm I'm looking for just one, and I would say probably confidence. And confidence is like should be number one on every guy's list like if you're trying to get somebody or get a good opinion confidence is the first one so you think i have a lot of confidence yes okay mm -hmm. when did you first get that type of uh when you came game? on my shit trying to take over the my my, my stream yeah and then talking about i'm not giving compliment i was like so in the whole let's say me and you meet you'll never call me pretty I, that's you the first thing i did when this video started no 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 i'm talking about what happened in Back the then. yes and right, you were so like you gotta kind of like deserve me to call you pretty. I'm like, you gotta do something. You say, I was like, I don't uh, gotta do nothing for you to call me pretty. I was being argumentative so we could like <laughs> have a debate. Yeah, yeah, I really was. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. Um, but because because in real life, I'm I'm respectful, you know, and I mm -hmm. and I'm about substance. So at the end of the day, you know, we was having that conversation. That was just for the pure toxic fun, and mm -hmm. you was laughing the whole time. So. I was laughing. I mean, yeah. it was funny. Yeah, it that's how like, I like to play. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But. If we was arguing. Why would you think? Oh, he's so confident. Like you don't come on somebody. Separation. You don't yeah. come on somebody's life trying to argue, and you're not really confident. Like yeah. that. That takes I'm, I'm, I know I'm confident. Yeah. But you, you said it like like a. It was it was introduced it was introduced to you in like a rough way, mm -hmm. but you described it as like a great quality. You know what I mean? You get what I'm saying? I, I mean, yeah. how you came wasn't the right way mm -hmm. to come at me, but it did exude confidence. Hey, it got me here. Whatever. It got me here. <laughs> here we are. Whatever. <laughs> Um, no, I like that. Okay, what are both of y'all's main objective in life? Okay, my, my shit is super easy. I just want to be happy. That's it. Yeah. That's it, because even like, you know, um, when you deal with like um, having money or having uh, people knowing you mm. or um, I don't know, it's just some, some mornings you wake up and you're like, yo. What the fuck? Right. What is life? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's all I'm trying to accomplish, really. Mm -hmm. You know, I know a lot of people are like, well, impacting people and stuff. I think I'm doing that, but I don't think that's what really fulfills me, like, mm -hmm. all the way. And then until I find this, like, this bliss. It's like sometimes, you know, I'm like, we're in the Matrix. So anyway. Like a movie? Yes. It's a, mo it's a movie. So it's like, once you feel good, just enjoy the, the feeling good because you know them well, there is some dumb shit that's going to mm -hmm. come. And you're gonna feel like a little funny about it. So, I feel like knowing that it's just part of life, mm -hmm. you just accept it, and then you can really be happy Enjoy about everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've done there an opposite outlook almost. Like, okay. To start with the main objective, I, I would literally say is that, you know, is that if anyone's ever met me or watched one of my videos, is that I've impacted them in some kind of way. Mm -hmm. That's my that's my number one because yeah. I think this is a time we only can do something like that on such a wide scale. It's people in countries that I've never been in. Shout out South Africa. I mean, mm -hmm. I've been in London now, but shout out South Africa, London. Shout out even states and cities in in, in the USA. You know what I'm saying? Uh, New York. I got a lot of support. Philly. Shout out Philly, man. Two one five, man. We from Philly all the way. To Hollywood, from the hood to Hollywood, <laughs> yeah. life is good. Like I really do this with a purpose. I, I think about what I didn't have, mm. and I try to show people like, you could do this younger than me, you could do this older than me, you could do this. It, yeah. it don't even matter about the age. You just got to start taking your life serious. You got to start living with a purpose and living with an intention. 
and that's what I try to live, give because somebody might make up and it be a bad day. Mm-hmm. But if they go watch my channel, and I'm I've been I'm got the same hustle and motivation mm-hmm. I had when they first watched me. It's like it's like a recharge. Yeah. It's like a it's like a flame that lights the other flames mm-hmm. kind of. So it's like passing the torch. So I just like that I impact somebody in some kind of way. Yeah. You know, give a space for the people that don't fit in like me. Mm-hmm. I really don't fit in with like the fast life, party life, but I also don't fit in with the super like scholarly, yeah, school kind of vibe. So I'm just I'm 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 everywhere but nowhere at the same time. I'm just me, you know. So I just like having influence and impact. But when you talked about um, being happy and choosing that present moment mm-hmm. and fulfillment, I get fulfillment from this, and it's like a, it, it almost becomes a battle of fun and fulfillment. So it's like, all right, I can do that and that's fun, but that's not fulfilling. That doesn't align with my purpose. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I, I kind of sh- like think like, okay, that might be a waste of time. It's not worth it. It's not, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. And um, I try to like keep a balance in there somewhere. Have fun. My car is fun. It's not fulfilling, but it's fun. I enjoy Which fun. Which one you got here? Uh, Challenger, Scat Pack. Okay. Yeah. Cool. And I'm thinking about getting like a, a M5 comp soon, you know. So, yeah, we was talking about that. Mm-hmm. Get out of the wellies in the cars <laughs> and stuff. Um... But yeah, I, I try to balance it without losing myself. Okay, I have a question because mm-hmm. somebody asked me yesterday, you know, I started doing a, a call line where mm-hmm. you can come in and ask me questions. Oh, no, I didn't know that. But I started yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday was the first show. And the guy came and he was like, how do I find my purpose? Mm-hmm. And I was like a little stuck because I was like, as a woman, I know what works for me. I don't know if for a guy it's like different. Mm-hmm. So It is. Okay, so for masculine, me, I like, Masculine and feminine energy respond to purpose differently. Mm-hmm. It's just how it is. Yeah. Masculine is passion, feminine is compassion. So you realize the word is in the other word, mm-hmm. but the way it works is like passion is like taking care. It's like, it's like striving towards something, and then getting fulfillment that you're you're taking care of mm-hmm. that goal and what you know comes behind that. Like if I'm a the chief of a, a village, right, and I went out and hunted today, I went and got that food. Really, it comes back to my village, to my community. Mm-hmm. But the fulfillment is going towards or, or hunting or attacking. Like masculine and masculinity and testosterone, I'm not talking about, you know, masculine as in beard and strong yeah. arms. I mean, like, men they're, they're, men have, like, masculine urges, you know what I'm saying, to take, take care for something and mm-hmm. go out and work harder. Like, for example, if you take two men and they both work 80 hours a week, as you know, Kevin Sanders would mm-hmm. say, 80 hours a week, right? And one is just doing it for money, and another is doing it because he has a wife and kids at home, or his mm-hmm. mom is short on rent. That second it's guy good. is going to do it much easier. Mm-hmm. On his last ounce of energy, he's going to get up because his purpose drives him. Whereas I feel like with women, in the way femininity, it's, it's compassion instead of passion. So it's like it's passion for a for a person specifically, mm-hmm. like or like taking care of a child. Yeah, you you nourishing, being you know um, internal, like and and like just things like that, emotionally present, mm-hmm. um, supportive, and and from within rather than going outside of yourself. I mean, I don't want to make this too deep, but <laughs> it's something I really you know consider because mm-hmm. it's it's an important yeah. question, and for you to even be aware of like the difference, like okay, what drives me as a woman mm-hmm. might not really drive me as you. A, as, yeah. a, as a you know. So yeah. oh, that was a good question. If whoever asked that, shout out to you. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you hit him up and tell him to watch this video. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Right, I'll do one more. I'll let you pick the the last one. Uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll answer this quickly. Okay. Melly, would you take time to date? No. Duh. <laughs> of course. It's my question. <laughs> you answer. I said no. <laughs> the answer, can Melly dunk you? Uh, whoever asked that. Bowling. <laughs> Never. I'm blocking that at the. I'm so just that FYI, I'm taller than than Ty. If anybody wanted to know, barely. I thought what you mean be, barely? I thought you'd be like really tall. I'm really tall. I thought you'd be really tall. She got about like two inches. Two inches. Yeah. Yeah. You six foot about mm-hmm. ten. But it don't feel like the difference that it would could. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what are things that women notice that men don't know, realize, or something that only they can see? I'll do the first one. Shoes. That was like, the one I was in my head. Like, really? right away. yes, shoes. Yeah, yeah. I look at your shoes. I'm like, no, I'm not talking to yeah, you. Yeah, men think it's like muscles and like no. nice beard and 
Then my second answer would be skin. You know what I'm saying? But shoes, y'all be surprised. Women really look at your shoes, bro. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? That don't mean you can't get her. Don't listen to Melly. <laughs> she <laughs> gonna, she yeah. gonna pay attention to what's coming out your mouth, but, you know, they definitely look at the shoes, though. You, mm-hmm. you could give, like, you know, three inches or something. Um... I think you kind of touched on it earlier as far as like how you you interact with other people. Like when you come in, I'm I'm going to see, I'm going to be drawn towards you depending on how you walk in. If you walk in like heads down and like nobody, you don't want to be seen. You walk in. Not like that either. <laughs> that I'm like, nah, he's faking it. He's not coming yeah, in. He's, he's trying. He tries. You know, but like if you come in and you're like just chilling, yeah. I'm like, okay, I like that. And then how you you hang around other people Mm -hmm. are you like listening to what people are saying or you're just waiting to just talk you know you can we can pick up on that um also if you're looking at all the girls all the girls that are walking around Mm -hmm. i don't even watch that like look how he's looking at all the other women yeah we we see that and then and then i'm like oh i don't me i don't want him if i because i'm feeling like oh he's thirsty thirsty or (laughs) He's just here because he want to smash. In my head, you're not like... If I'm looking for a relationship and I'm looking at you and you're looking at all these girls, I'm like, he's not looking for a girl. Mm-hmm. For real. He wants he's to just smash. He just wants eye candy. Exactly. Or, yeah, or some pussy. That's what it. What if you're the one that he, he looked at when he walked by? But then and he keeps on looking at other people? He's trying to survey the scene. You can survey the scene one time when you come in, but if all night long that's all you're doing, yeah. it's funny because that happened to me. I was out and um, this guy, I found him very attractive. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, so you know, here and there, I'm checking like where he's at. Yeah. And then, but every time I look, he's with another girl and another girl, and I was like, oh no, he's not. That's not for me. You making his rounds? Yes. So sometimes like, that sometimes that happens. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like there's times that I've been out where you just you you you, you fill out everything. Mm-hmm. I know that you would want it, want it to be like, okay, he just goes for me and only me. Mm-hmm. But like, if, if he really like a sniper, but a slayer. I really, I really think it depends on the girl. Because I know some other girls, they're going to take it as like, damn, he's popular. And they're mm-hmm. going to be more attracted to him. Okay. Me, I'm more like, I like the guy that's a little low-key that... Calm, in mm-hmm. the cut a little bit. Yes. Okay. So it depends what the girl... Have you ever approached like. somebody before? I mean, I've seen one video, but like, it's, it's approaching like normal. Like, would you like? I see it. Me I want, approaching? Yeah. Um, no, not like to. to so you can like, count on both hands how many times you probably did it. Yeah, probably. I, okay. Well, it's not like approaching in a way like yo, what's up? It's more. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm gonna ask you a question, or you know, putting like, yourself in. Yeah. The like you can talk to me. Hey, I'm here. I'm available. Yeah, that's oh. the last thing I didn't know. Watch out! Watch out when a woman is like finding a way to get around you. Like mm-hmm. it'll be so random, and then in her head. She's like, he didn't even ask me for my number. <laughs> Why well, she didn't do anything? She didn't do nothing <laughs> at all. All she did was sit down sit in the down area, the, the dinner it. area, or or. Hey, have you seen? Like, if you get a question, even that's like mm-hmm. on a, a higher level of like bold for women. Like, guys talk about you know rejection and stuff like that, but women really are overthinkers. They are really like. Yeah, but it's because the they just trigger the worst scenario in the, the head ego. Women. But you know what? It's because the ego for us women is more like if I come to you and you reject me, mm. right away I'm gonna go towards it didn't find me attractive. I'm not gonna Whoa. think you're not trying to be in a relationship right now. I'm not gonna think you already got a girl. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna think maybe your mind is not there right now. I'm not gonna think none of that. Mm-hmm. I may be like it didn't find me attractive. So it's like I'm not good enough. Yes. So that's why, like, that hurts more than mm-hmm. just a girl rejecting you. And maybe that's why men, the mentality that you, you can have when approaching, a mentality like that, you ain't going to want to approach the next person, and then the next person, <laughs> and then the next five, the next ten, mm-hmm. if you think like that, you know, but, um, damn, I don't know, I, I ain't going to lie. What? The best mentality you could have is just, you, you just go for what you want. Oh, that's what I say all yeah, the time. Yeah, just- go for what you want. Because it's like, if you think about it, when you approach her and she said no, she said no to what? Exactly. Like she she doesn't know you. Know you. She don't know you so it's like, from you shouldn't be either. her. She just said no. And then again, even for her, you don't know. Maybe she got a boyfriend. Maybe she's on her period. Mm-hmm. Maybe you don't, you don't know. Yeah, what, I mean, if you're trying to get that one night stand. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> what would her being on her period right when she approached him change anything? When he approaches her. Right. No, her having like moods. 
you know, when girls with it get. But a guy can handle that. I don't know. Some some don't. I don't know. But she might just say no. Yeah. Because she's in the mood today. You know. She's oh, just you, being oh a, what you mean from him approaching her and yes, rejecting him? Yes. Oh, definitely. You know, a guy can get her at three p.m. And then at 4 p.m., her mom pissed her off, mm-hmm. her job, exactly. blah, blah, blah. You go at her at 6 p.m. It's done. Got the shirt and the stick, buddy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so that don't mean just... stay outside her job. That don't mean stop her. <laughs> that just means roll with the punches. Keep mm-hmm. going. You know what I'm saying? Don't even trip about it. All right. So, guys, yes. Approach approach the bitch. Every bitch you want, you approach. That's... Approach the baddest bitch you can see. Exactly. All the time. Or every day. Even when you got to say no. <laughs> No. no, don't do it when you got a girl. Don't do it when you got no, a girl. No, but it's gonna build the confidence, and then the rejection because you rejected ten times. You're gonna be like, "Fuck this! What's 11 Exactly. And then when you get a girlfriend, you can be ready to get your wife. Mm-hmm. Because you, your girlfriend gonna be at home, and you ready to approach women outside so you can find your wife. Uh, shut the fuck up! And I'm like, I'm like, where is he going with this? No, I'm playing. I'm, all right, all just in love though. Be you, man. Be you, baby. Live life. For real. Enjoy it. Those are to the moon, to Saturn, and we leave in the solar system. The lens don't even know we exist. I know y'all waited a long time for this. Melly, Taekwondo. Hey. You want to say bye? Your way? Uh, Pineapple. No! <laughs> I guess. That's your way of saying bye. You don't got no outro? Like a. Uh, Mm-mm. You just say bye. I just say. Boring. Yeah, I just say kisses. And I'm like, I'll see you soon. That's it. That's you do. You black. What you mean? I'm like, you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. like big ones. <laughs> big one. That was a big one. I ain't gonna lie. Um, yeah. As y'all see, we talked. We both talked too much. Like we, this video was. I said twenty five minutes. We did two separate twenty minute videos. Yeah. We just keep going. I know, right? Mm-hmm. A live. That means we could really do a live. Like when I pull up the next time and we do like a whole live. That shit. That hour don't sure. feel like nothing. That yeah. two hours. I don't know how long you'd be live for, but mm-hmm. you know that that's not gonna feel like nothing. For sure. I feel like we should put your dog in it. Like uh, you wanna y'all know what's been attacking me this whole time. She needed an attack. <laughs> she said, like, hey. I had to, I'm on the side, like, playing with her. So, like, yeah, she was, like, she, she's jump. needy. She's just needy. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. Still like her mammy. Yeah. Like you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. I'm about to leave. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. She said, yeah, she going to agree. 